Hello Wildcats, welcome to another episode of the Cat's Eye News featuring Mirror. Today we've got March Madness, Super Mario and Truly Devious. All this and more on today's episode of the Cat's Eye News. Email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com with your story ideas and we'll be sure to feature it on our next broadcast. Be sure to send it to this email and not Mr. Latart for the best chances of seeing your email. See you later, Novi. What's up, Wildcats? The student book group will be meeting on Thursday, April 4th in the Media Center Forum at 2.50 p.m. to discuss the book Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. All students are welcome to attend. Please contact Mrs. Bratney with any questions. Novi High School Creative Writing Club is hosting a Wildcat Creative Writing Contest. They encourage anyone and everyone to submit. You do not have to be a member of the Creative Writing Club to participate. Students should write whatever they want, whether it's a message you want to get out to the world, characters or a world you, that you want to create, or something that you want to share about yourself. The submission deadline is April 2nd, and there will be three winners. First prize is $60, and they will have the work published in Novi Today, Novi's local news. Second is $30, and third place is a bundle of assorted candy. On screen, there's a flyer with a QR code to the submission application. You can also find the link in the Creative Writing Club's Instagram. Hey, Novi! We're back again with another Guess That Baby video. So, before the spring break, guess that baby. Hey, what's up Wildcats? I'm Moose and welcome to something that is very much not Cat's Eye Reviews. Now, last year the Mario movie came out starring Chris Pratt and everyone knows it was great. However, this wasn't the first Mario movie. In 1993, another one came out. So today I'm going to be telling you about the Mario movie where dinosaurs from another dimension try to take over the world and turn everyone into monkeys. That is not a joke, and then I'm going to be reviewing it based on these four categories. Without further ado, let's get right into it. There's all sorts of weird stuff going on in this movie. There's this lady who I really loved in Jetpack Joyride, Iggy and Spike, cousins of King Koopa who are just really stupid, Goombas who are genuinely just terrifying and also really stupid, Yoshi who is just straight up a velociraptor, Toad who looks straight out of Whoville, and Mushroom. So let's start with the positives. There are some funny moments for sure, a personal favorite of mine being the Mario Mario scene. Mario Mario and Luigi Mario. There's also this one where all the Goombas start dancing. <laughs> and of course your quintessential King Koopa orders a pizza joke. I'd like the Koopa special. Pterodactyl tail on that. Classic Mario. My favorite is definitely when King Koopa is spinning this globe and just heavily suggests that New York is scientifically the worst place on the planet. Other positives, the dynamic between Mario and Luigi is pretty alright, and Bob Hoskins did a pretty good job with Mario's voice comparing it to other 90s Mario media. Luigi, we got a broken dishwasher at the Riverfront Cafe. Now for the negatives. This movie is all over the place. The plot has a lot of inconsistencies, and is pretty weird anyways. There are a lot of these new characters introduced for seemingly no reason, and the whole movie took on a much darker and grungier tone than the source material. There are all sorts of weird design choices, Bowser's an old man, Goombas are 8 feet tall, Mario's an interstellar, flamethrowers are everywhere, and there's a dinosaur in a bucket. Some of those are arguably not downsides, but take my word for it, this movie is an absolute slog. I lost a lot of brain cells watching this, 10 out of 10 for sure. As for the other three categories, here's what I've got. Plot, 4 out of 10. There was one, kind of, and it sucked. Enjoyment, 7 out of 10. There's this concept called ironic enjoyment, basically so bad it's good type energy. Marioness, 3 out of 10. The only reason this isn't a zero is because they made the Mario Mario joke. Anyways, that's all for me. Just wanted to draw attention to this often forgotten piece of Mario history. In all honesty though, it should probably stay forgotten. I wouldn't have recommended this in 1993, and I certainly don't recommend it now. See you Wildcats.
What's up, Novi, and welcome to the March Madness Prediction Show brought to you by the Cats Eye News. We are going to do one region each, starting with Berlin in the West region. What's up, guys? Uh, I'm here with the West region, starting off with the one seed, North Carolina versus 16. Wagner, uh, UNC takes this one. The eight and the nine between Mississippi State and Michigan State. Michigan State takes that. Uh, the five between St. Mary's and the 12 Grand Canyon. Uh, St. Mary's beats Grand Canyon. Number four, Alabama beats number 13, Charleston. Number six, Clemson beats number 11, New Mexico. Number three, Baylor beats number 14, Colgate. Number 10, Nevada upsets number seven, Dayton. And then the fifth team, Long Beach State upsets Arizona. Next round. In the round of 32, we have Michigan State and North Carolina, the nine versus the one. Michigan State upsets North Carolina. St. Mary's, Alabama, the five and the four. Alabama wins that one. Clemson, Baylor, the six and three. Baylor takes that one. And then Nevada versus Long Beach State, the 10 and 15. Nevada takes that one. In the Sweet 16, we have Michigan State, the nine versus Alabama, the four. Michigan State moves on to the Elite Eight. And then on the other side, we have Baylor, the three versus Nevada, the 10. And Baylor will take that one. And then in the Elite Eight, we have the nine Michigan State versus the three Baylor, and Michigan State will advance to the Final Four. I got UConn beating Stetson. I got FAU taking down Northwestern. I got San Diego State beating UAB. I got Auburn beating Yale. I have Duquesne upset, upsetting BYU. I have Illinois beating Moorhead State. I have Drake beating Washington State. And then I have Iowa State beating South Dakota State. In my round of 32, I have UConn beating FAU. I got Auburn beating San Diego State. I got Illinois beating Duquesne. And then I have Iowa State beating Drake. In my Sweet 16, I got Auburn upsetting UConn. And then I have Iowa beating Illinois, Iowa State beating Illinois. And then for, to go to the Final Four, I have Iowa State beating Auburn. And hey, what's up, Novi? I'm here with my South picks, starting with Houston against Longwood. Give me Houston. Nebraska, Texas A&M. I'm going to Nebraska. Wisconsin over James Madison. Duke over Vermont. Texas Tech losing to NC State. Kentucky over Oakland. Boise State, I have them beating Colorado, and I have them beating Florida as well. In my round of 32, I have Houston over Nebraska. Wisconsin over Duke. NC State over Kentucky. And Marquette over Boise State. In my Sweet 16, I have Wisconsin over Houston. And Marquette over NC State. And in my Elite Eight, I have Marquette over Wisconsin. And going to the Final Four, I have Marquette. So Purdue, even though they lost last year, they are going to win. They're going to beat the play-in, whoever that is. And then uh, Utah State beats TCU. Gonzaga will beat McNeese State. Kansas will beat Stanford. Oregon upsets South Carolina. Creighton destroys Akron. Texas beats Colorado State. Oh, sorry. Wait. Colorado State beats Texas. And then Tennessee beats St. Peter's. And the second round... I have Purdue beating Utah State, and I have Kansas beating Gonzaga, Creighton beating Oregon, Tennessee beating Colorado State, and then in the Sweet 16, I have Purdue losing to Kansas, and then Creighton beating Tennessee. In the Elite Eight, I have Kansas and Creighton, and Creighton will move on to the Final Four. All right, guys, so we will be back after spring break to check out how well we did. My Final Four, personally, is UConn, Michigan State, Houston, and Creighton. Mine is Auburn, New Mexico, Marquette, and South Carolina, and I have Auburn winning the championship. My Final Four, my personal bracket, is North Carolina, Iowa State, Kentucky, and Creighton, and then I have North Carolina beating Kentucky to win the national championship. All right, we will see you guys after spring break. Hey, Novi, thanks for watching today's episode of the Cat's Eye News. We'll see you next time, and have a great winter break, Wildcats.